Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about Roman and Arabic numerals and converting between both of them. So Roman numerals are I, V, X, L, C. There's also T and N, but we're not going to talk about those right now. And Arabic numerals are what you're probably already familiar with, such as numbers like 1, 5, 10, 50, 100. And these are the conversions. So in a Roman numeral, I is equivalent to a 1, a V is equivalent to a 5, an X is equivalent to a 10, an L is equivalent to a 50, and C is equivalent to 100. So the question is, how would you write numbers like between 1 and 5, or between 5 and 10, 10 and 50, and 50 and 100? And there is an interesting way to do that, which we are going to talk about. So let's start with the basics. So I is equal to 1. Two I's are 2. And you can also like write it separated like this. It's still correct. Three I's is equal to 3. And then you come down to 4. And your first guess might be like, you know, why isn't this 4? But it's not. And a pattern that you'll notice is whenever you use letters, you can only have a maximum of three of the same letter in a row. So this is the maximum right here. Maximum. And if there comes a circumstance where you might have to use four letters, what you do is you jump up to the next number, which is 5, and then you subtract by placing a 1 behind it. So 4 is also 5 minus 1. So you first have the 5, which is the V, and then you place a 1 before the 5, which basically translates to 5 minus 1, which is 4. And then V is 5, and then once again you go back to adding things like you did with so VI is 6, VII is 7, VIII is 8, and then once again you come to 9. And you can't just do VIIII because there's a maximum of 3 of the same letter that you can place. So what you do is you jump up to 10 and you place an I before that. So this would be like 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. And you've got a 9. And then X is 10. So now let's talk about larger numbers. So I'm just going to get, let's go up to 11. So once again, like you did with the ones and the fives, and so you'd start off with X and then XI would be 11. And then XII would be 12. XIII would be 13. And then what about 14? So something that you can do here is 14 is basically 10 plus 4, right? Sometimes I find it easy to split this up into 10s and 1s. So you've got 10s, so you've got 110, and you have 1, 4. So what you do in Roman numerals is first you have to write out the 10, and then you write out the 4. So 10 in Roman numerals is X, and then 4 is IV. So this is, I'm just going to not write the line so you can see it better. This is 14. And then what about something like 19? How would you write that? So once again, you would have the 19. So you've got the 10, got the 1s. So there's one 10, so you have to figure, first figure out how to write the 10, and then you have to figure out how to write the 9. So the 10 is just an X again, and then a 9 is IX. So there's 19. And now let's look at a bigger number. What about something like 32? Once again, we can split this up into 10s and 1s. So there are three 10s, so that's 30. And there's one, two, one, so that's two. So 30 plus two, 32. So what we can do here is first we have to figure out how to write 30 in Roman numerals, and then we have to figure out how to write two in Roman numerals. So 30, similar to this right here, um, 30 would be written as x, x, x. That would be 30. And then what about two? We just look right over here, i, i. So this would be 32 like 48 how would we write that let's space this out so 48 once again tens ones 
So you've got four tens, so first you have to figure out how to write the 40, and then you have to figure out how to write the eight. So how would you write 40 in Roman numerals? So we use three X's for the 30, but can we just do this for the 40? No, you cannot, because remember, you have to move up to the next thing. So if you go down here, what's the next thing? L. L is 50, so you go with L, and then you simply subtract 10. So this would be 40 in Roman numerals. And once you get 40, you have to next get 8. And 8 we've got right here, which is the I, I, I. So you simply place this after the 40, and you've got 48 in Roman numerals. And let's also do 83. So tens, ones, how would you write 80 in Roman numerals? So you'd start off with 50, which is L. Just write this here for quick reference. L is equal to 50. And then you need to get up to 80. So you would simply add tens from there, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then how would you get the three? Right here, I, I, I. So this would be 83 in Roman numerals. And what about then? 90 something, 97. And can, in this case, you can't just do L, X, 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 X because there can only be three of the same letter in a row. So you would jump up to 100, which if we go down here, you'll see a C. And then you would just simply subtract 10 from there. Similar to how we did over here. We went here and we subtracted one. Instead, we're gonna jump up to 100 and we're gonna subtract 10 to get 90. And then how would we write 7? We have it right here, V-I-I, -I. so this would be 97. Okay, so now we have a basic understanding of writing Roman numerals anywhere from 1 to 100.